Last year, I made an AI shoot me in the face with a Nerf gun when I get distracted, and it's not working. I'm still finding myself getting distracted, so I figured I'd take a slightly different approach. Instead of punishing myself for getting distracted, how about I redirect that towards the distractions themselves? That's it. I'll repurpose the Nerf gun from aiming at me to aiming at the door. Anyone tries to come in and distract me, well, let's just say that'll act as a bit of a deterrent. But we're not stopping there. As software engineers, we have to not only adjust the previous version, but improve on it. How much time do you think you spend picking up that cup of coffee in the morning for every single sip? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. That's four seconds wasted on every sip. A sip is about one ounce of coffee, eight ounces per cup. But we're developers, remember? So multiply that by at least four cups and that equates to 32 sips. Multiply that by four seconds per sip and you're looking at over two minutes of wasted time. I've come up with a contraption to get that time back. The coffee dispenser. Every five minutes, a water gun filled with coffee will trigger and dispense exactly one ounce of coffee right into my mouth. Pause. <laughs> well, that broke. And all of this will utilize a subset of artificial intelligence known as object detection. Each rig has a camera. The one on the Nerf gun will perform object detection to ensure the intruder's human, as to exclude my dog, and real-time face tracking to track them for aiming purposes. The camera on the water gun, or coffee gun, coffee dispenser, whatever I called it, is to aim to ensure that the coffee actually goes in my mouth, or at least close to it. All controlled by various Arduino rigs equipped with servo motors, and the software library we're using for object detection is TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a framework for training and running AIs and AI models. It's popular at the university level, and it's one of the many top STEM apps and frameworks accelerated by GeForce RTX laptops, which of course we'll be using, using, <laughs> It's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series laptop. Because after all, in order to have STEM projects like this work properly, we need to utilize the acceleration power of a GPU. And the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series laptop GPUs definitely satisfy that requirement, considering the fact that this baby has a 4070 laptop GPU in it. The entire lineup is full of perfect all around laptops for professionals and particularly students who can utilize the GPU power in projects like this, detailed mathematical simulations, or building advanced artificial intelligence models, gaming, or making video games, or any creative endeavors like 3D modeling or editing a YouTube video like this. With GeForce RTX, you'll be prepared for lower level and upper level coursework, you'll be able to get your work done faster, and you won't have to battle it out for time on school servers or workstations. Learn more about NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series laptops, their lineup, and what it can do for you at the link in the description. For now, we're gonna go back in time and build these two projects right here using this, which is the MSI Stealth 14 Studio to see what these laptops can do for me. Thank you to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series laptops in particular for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make fun projects like this. All right, so the Nerf gun and the coffee dispenser will be fairly similar to each other, although this has a pan tilt rig, so X and Y and Z for the trigger pull, not Z axis. And then over here, we're only working on the What's this one? The x-axis? We're only doing that there because this can get a little bit tricky if you're working with fluids. <laughs> so we're just gonna focus on the x-axis. And obviously it's very similar to the previous project. However, I don't remember how to build the previous project. And that's a little bit ironic considering the title of one of my last few videos. So uh, we're gonna have to go back into some of those resources I used as well as referencing that video to see if I can get it done this time. It's, it's nothing I can't figure out, I hope, but there's always, always problems. But I do know we wanna start off with a Python script. A Python script that uses TensorFlow and its object detection API. We'll want to ensure TensorFlow is utilizing the GPU instead of the inferior CPU's integrated graphics by using CUDA Toolkit and CUDAnet, still don't know how to pronounce that, to recognize and prioritize our GeForce RTX 4070 in our laptop here. We'll also be using Anaconda for Python as a means to manage package and set up virtual environments, rather intuitively, might I add. The Coco API as our object detection, segmentation, and captioning data set, and OpenCV to actually use the camera. With a lot of installing and testing and building and breaking and fixing and testing again, I finally got it to work after way too much time. And that is the object detection. As you can see, it's not working all that well here. But after some fine tuning of the model, no problem. But this is on the laptop's built-in camera. I then switched it over to the Nerf Guns webcam in this video capture setting right here. 
the webcam is zero, and this webcam is one. Now that that is working, we need it to trigger a Python script upon confirming that it is a human walking into the room. So we'll be utilizing the same webcam to use face tracking to aim and then fire. This is partially that script. Partially because as you can see here, we're working with the Arduino and this is that code. We've uploaded it through this cable here into this Arduino here, which is also powering the Arduino. Running that power from it to the breadboard here, running through the breadboard to each one of the servos. These two for the X and Y axis, and then this one up here to pull the trigger. The Python code we just wrote in our notebook takes in data from the webcam and sends coordinates to the Arduino to ensure we're aiming at the intruder's face. The coffee dispensers run on just about the same exact code, but ran on a timer of five minutes and only the X axis servo, no Y axis. But we do still have that trigger pull. Or so I thought. Why don't you work? It's tracking, but not pulling the trigger as it should. Ah. Turns out that servo came unplugged at some point. Now it should work. <laughs> and of course, another problem, small problem, let's adjust the aim a little bit. <laughs> Why can't I get this to work? Eh, that's close enough. And I think we have everything ready to go. The Nerf gun, locked and loaded, keeping its eyes on the door. The coffee dispenser, full of coffee. And by the way, this is not hot coffee. Uh, I'm not that confident in my contraption. And finally, well, it's time to get to work. Mmm, good coffee. <laughs> so you ready to ride or what? Ah, hey, whoa, whoa. So overall, not too bad. I did want to have one more contraption as a part of this rig, and that is a swing arm with this glove on the end of it to give me a nice stern pat on the back whenever I would do something good, like successfully compile some code or work continuously for 60 minutes. What have I been working on? Who knows, but at least I've been working. So it was going to give me a nice stern pat on the back, but I broke it. I broke the servo because it went a little crazy and I figured, do I want to fix this and risk it going crazy again and just swinging this all over the place or just, you know, let it fall by the wayside. I, I chose the latter because, uh, well, it's a little scary. I ain't gonna lie. That's what we got. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you to everyone who watched. Thank you to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series laptops. It is a mouthful. That's just one of many projects that a laptop like this can handle. Make sure you check the link out in the description, not just to check out the rest of the lineup, you know, cause it has a lot of different brands and a lot of different levels of GPU, 4070, 4080, 4090, so on and so forth, but also other STEM apps that GPUs utilize and what you can do with it. I mentioned a little bit earlier about mathematical simulations or building the actual artificial intelligence model or gaming, which I'm going to be doing here in a second. There's a whole lot to learn into this whole space and the link in the description is where you can do all of that research. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Now that work is over, I'm gonna wind down with a, a video game or two like always.